Hi guys. Today is a very hot day here in Hastings. It's Sunday. Yeah, it's probably like 3 p.m. And today I have a very chilled and relaxed day. I am quite sleepy actually. I might I might make some coffee later. Uh, but I wanted to just like spend the afternoon with you guys because I don't know, I just want to hang out with you and like not talk about anything. I mean, we're still going to talk a lot about nothing, but... <laughs> so I think, guys, that the good thing about having someone that is helping me during the week on my shop and um, packing stuff and going to a post office is that I finally have time to, I don't know, like draw for draw for pleasure and update my Instagram more frequently and today I think I just want to draw and create content for the upcoming week for my Instagram. I take Instagram in a very weird way because Instagram is sort of like my hobby <laughs> in the sense that I, what I draw is for pleasure. I draw whatever I want because Instagram is not my job so I can basically do whatever I want but I like to take the time to create meaningful content for me and for you guys. So I want to spend this Sunday afternoon not only filming and spending time with you, but also drawing. So let's go to my living room. Like I said, today we're going to work together on a couple of illustrations. These are very casual illustrations, by the way, guys. Uh, so this is my sketchbook. I don't know if I've ever show you my sketchbook in this channel before? Yes, I have. Well, this is something I usually do for my patrons. There's a bunch of kids yelling outside. Anyway, it's summer. Let the kids enjoy the good weather. <laughs> so this is my sketchbook. I am almost at the end of my sketchbook, guys. Can you believe it? And so this is how it looks like. Usually when I work on my illustrations that I upload off on Instagram, I use the Copic and Pro Marker pens, markers. This is like my portable to go pencil case. These are like the markers that I use the most. And as you can see, I have a very defined color palette. I don't know if you can tell, but they're mostly pinks and purples, blues and grays, uh, a couple of yellows. I mean, maybe I can show you the last one. So this is the last illustration I upload to my Instagram. Uh, Ed and I had a very nice conversation about a leg hair. <laughs> I mean, you can see the whole thing on my Instagram, but it was so nice that you guys like that illustration. Usually when I go out, I draw with my trusty old Prismacolor color erase. This is a classic, guys. You already are. You maybe are sick of me talking about these pens and pencils because they are the same that I use over and over again. I, I haven't mentioned this before, guys, but I'm trying to use more erasable pencils from other brands. This is the erasable uh, Stettler in the shade... Uh, no, there's no shade, but it's the red one. <laughs> the quality is very similar to the Col Erase, to the Prismacolor. So if you can't have access to the Prismacolors, because I know they're, uh, they're a pain in the ass to get, you can get the Stettler ones because they're really good. And also for outlining my illustrations, I use this Muji pen, which is my favorite one. And yeah, today I have no plans, I have no ideas, I have no idea what to draw but we'll figure something out. What can I say about the process behind my Instagram illustrations? I try to do my best in terms of colors. So as you can see, my color palette is very, when I say defined, it doesn't mean, it's mean that I try to ha be as restrictive as I can with my color palette because I've noticed that every time I try to use all the Copic markers I have or, or all the Pro markers I have. The illustration doesn't have a cohesive look. 
So what I try to do is restrict my color palette as much as I can. And from that point onwards, I paint everything I can. So for example, even though this is not my um, color, my exact hair color is the one that I use for my cheeks and my elbows and my hands for my shoulders sometimes. So I try to do all the details I can with the least amount of colors possible. And I found guys that is the, this is the best advice I can give you color wise, because you won't ever have all the Copic markers in the world. Um, that is a, an advice that I try to, <laughs> that I also try to follow when I am painting in Photoshop. So for example, I always like to have a color palette, a restricted color palette in Photoshop as well, because in Photoshop you have all the colors available. But I have found that the illustrations that I like the most, they have a very restricted palette, like from other illustrators. I think the last time that I purchased Copic markers, I tried to go for a more lilac purple palette, because I'm trying to find the best shades for shadowing. I don't know if you can tell, but this time this illustration does have shadows, which is something that Shadows, guys, they always fit me out because once you do a shadow with markers or with watercolors, there's no way back. <laughs> so I don't know if you can tell, but um, every once in a while I do swatches in the lower part of the page. So I make sure that the color that I'm choosing, for example, uh, the base of the color, which is the best purple that matches that color. So what, what is the best purple for shadowing that particular color? I make sure to write down all the samples and all the swatches of the color. So I make sure that the next time I already know which is going to be the best shadow for that particular color. And I make a mental note and I hope you enjoyed this process. I know um, I haven't done one of these in a while. Like, let's draw something together. And I really want to go back to let's draw something because I really want to draw watercolors again with you guys. So let's make something fun. Tell me what to draw and I will draw it next time. This will be a small challenge for all of us. All of us. All of us. So I will go back with watercolors in all the splendor. <laughs> I'll make sure to paint this painting this weekend. So just like write in the comment section an idea that you would like to see for the next video. Thank you so much. If you have visit my shop in the past few weeks. I will, I really, really guys appreciate all the orders that um, we are receiving right now and going to the post office is the best thing ever. Thank you so much for going to the shop. Thank you so much to all my patrons because you guys allow me to sit in this chair and film this video and do awesome things like buying art supplies and paper and the watercolors that we're going to try next week. Um, I am really excited about that. Ah! Okay, uh, so have an amazing day, an awesome weekend. I can't wait to read your comments and I'll see you next week. Bye bye guys. <laughs>